What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Blind. Did I just see a dude? Oh, does Anton start start up here when he starts walking? Maybe. Um, oh, look, there's a dancing mailbox. I want to go see. We'll go talk to it later on the episode. Actually, I think I know what letter's in there. Um, in the last episode, we beat the freaking Earth Temple. That one was called the Wind Temple, because that makes more sense. Uh, and then we went to the auction house and we got a heart piece and a heart container. Uh, I do believe we only have one of those, right? Oops. Yes. I know the bomb doesn't explode. You know, we only have 17 seed charts, really? Jeez. There's 40. Wait. There's 46 in total in this game. That's crazy. We really don't have that many, do we? Wow. Well, let's see what we do have here. Let's see what we haven't opened because there's definitely been a few we have not opened yet. Ooh. Looks like a reef. That's a very pixelated island. Ooh, windfalls! You know what? I bet this is the five rupee one on windfall we got here. Uh, ooh, bomb island maybe. Well, it looks like one of the fairy islands. Is that it? Nope. Uh, oops. No, there we go. The forbidden woods, maybe, or um, first haven, I should say. Thirty-six. Right, shark island, I think. <laughs> I like how I just know some of these. Uh, that looks like Cyclops Reef. And that's it. Alrighty then. Um, in this episode, we're going to be doing some more side quest typey things. We're going to look at. And we also might go buy another bottle. Or might go get another bottle. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> this town is our turf. The turf of the world famous killer bees. Don't mess with us. Yeah. Buzz, buzz. Really? Yeah. Hey. Just because you're older, don't think it makes you tough or anything. Would you guys be in school or something? You guys are like six. Are you alone or what? You must feel pretty lonely walking around a place like this all by yourself. What are you doing anyway? You think, mister? We ain't seen your face around here before, bub. Or bud. You look like goody two-shoes, and we hate goody two-shoes. You can't go walking around our town pretending to be all big. Yeah, it's not like I killed monsters for a living or anything. Okay, what was the second? Did this, did this other guy say anything different? No, not. Oh, yeah, you. Why are you wandering around here looking so sad? You think it's fun to go around looking town all pathetic? You think it makes you a big man? Wow, I hate these guys so much. What? Okay, yeah, okay, so they do have like three things they say, or two things. What are you looking at, bud? <laughs> hey, bud, what are you? What are you? Some kind of country rub? Rube? I mean, look at that outfit. What a get up. Wow, I hate you guys. <laughs> Are you a tick or something? Wow, really? That guy totally looks like the Keaton mask, doesn't he? Do any of these? This, this purple haired guy look, reminds me of the Bob mask. This is all Majora's mask, by the way. This pig looking guy looks like that. Um, the pig mask. <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. Keaton. Oh, yeah, I forgot the Keaton mask is also in um, the freaking uh, 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 Ocarina of Tide. Now, we have played, but we haven't played. Majora's Mask. Yet! So, anyways, this is the school. I don't know if I've properly introduced it yet or not, but yeah, this is Totes Magoats of the school. So, let's go see what the teacher thinks. Hey! The little girls aren't here! I thought I saw them in here before. What are you saying? I was like that, huh? I know we're cute, but we're good girls. We don't spread any rumors. And we don't spread the ones we know. Yeah, we're good. No matter how much you, money you give us, we won't tell anything. Nope, nothing. That's right. Nine for two rupees. Here. Oh, really? You're gonna give us root? Us rupees? Yippee! We get <laughs> one whole rupee <laughs> each. Haha, <laughs> we're still not gonna tell anything, not even a teensy tiny rumor. Yeah, we never tell you that our teacher, Mrs. Marie, has a super nice cabana. She only took us there for summer school once. We would never tell that either. Oh, you guys have anything else? We're the little tipsters. Everyone in town calls us that. Oh, that's adorable. I don't know what that means anyway. I actually didn't know what that meant until well, I was older, I guess. If we get bigger, we'll finally figure it out, huh? Did you guys say anything else? What? So, what about those older boys? Shouldn't they be in school? Welcome to Mrs. Marie, School of Joy. I don't think I've seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk about those annoying kids out there. Now I may look a bit flashy for teacher, but I assure you I am one. How long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall? 20, uh, 20 years? Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do have a rather joyless problem. There's this delinquent group of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. 
Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts. Could you please catch your leader, Ivan? Or that little boy named Ivan and talk some sense to him for me? Please, young man, for me? Honestly, I gotta say, look at her eyes. The whites of her eyes and her blue in her eyes should be reversed, shouldn't they? It looks really creepy. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. Uh, there's such trouble, some boys. I'm at my wit's end of how to handle them. But they won't be mean. But they'll be mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. Oh, yeah, right. Good luck, young man. Oh, boy. Just look at these drawings. He's sad. This one looks like the Joker. This one's mad. And this one's like, yeah, I'm a cool guy. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go have a talk with them. <clears throat> hey, assholes. Yeah. You. Yeah. Yo, bud. You got a problem with us killer bees, huh? Do you? Don't tell me it's not annoying Hague of a teacher again, is it? Can we give us talking to because Mrs. Marie asked you to, right? Tell us not to skip school, right, bud? Tell us not to be tardy, right, bud? Well, forget about all that. We're the mighty invincible gang of four, the killer bees. Do you think we listen to a chump like you? Yeah, right. Put one mobble in this town in 10 seconds, they'd all be dead. <laughs> but I tell you what, bud, if you want to challenge us to a competition, then we'll have to we'll think about maybe listening in a little bit. What do you say, bud? Do you want to challenge us? I'll take you on. Oh boy, one of my favorite side quests in this game. Okay, your funeral, bud. The rules are simple. We're going to go hide somewhere, and you got to find us. We're going to run. you got to try and catch us. Easy as that, bud. We won't hide indoors or nothing. We won't leave the silence. So look for us in the shadows and behind buildings and stuff. If you catch all four of us, we lose. You got it, bud? Ready? Go! Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh, let's, chase the, let's chase the leader. He went this way somewhere. Ah, oh, dang it. Um, <laughs> Anton, I totally thought he was one of the killer bees for a second there. Now, I kind of remember where these guys are. Oh, boy. Some more than others. I was actually just thinking about it. So, they could be hiding anywhere. If I was a hidey person, I would hide behind the Tomb of the Dead! Busted! <laughs> I like how I was just stand there like, Hey, yeah, you're caught, buddy. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, do you see it? Do you see it? Oh, there's a moment for you to see it. I don't know if you saw it or not. Uh, we'll catch you, asshole. There's a chance for you to see it again there as well. Yeah! Yeah, you got me! Haha. <laughs> you say the same thing? You ain't nice! I'm sugar and spice and everything nice. Look at that. Look at that asshole up there. That's awesome. I wish I could fuck climb trees like that. Like all the guy here just totally let him do it. Oh, good lord. Oh my god. Your leg should be broken, dude. Your leg should definitely be broken. It's like you roll to the tree and it knocks him down. <laughs> All right, let's go catch the leader, the fearless leader that was apparently terrible at hiding. Well, to be fair, he probably does have the best hiding spot. Being on a tree that you can't even really see. Oh, man. He gave me the slip. I heard him. Did he go this way? Did he go through town? He did. Holy crap, this guy's along. So these guys actually run in set patterns. Yeah. Yeah, you got me. What do you say? What have you been up to, lady? Stealing stuff? Oh, hi, we meet again. What? Of course, honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest that? I'm done with all the sneaking around in the dark. In fact, I head off to a faraway island to work in the evenings now. So I won't be seeing you at night anymore. Alright, well, alright. Now, you now you're keeping me from doing my job, so please step aside. This way to stall with extra fun, happy things for sale. Step right up, please stop by. So, when she says a faraway island, she really does mean a faraway island because, well, we never see her again for the rest of the game. Well, in the in the daytime that is she does hang around or she she doesn't hang around at night she goes off to a far away island and we don't know where she goes oh, i thought the other guy was over here is she over here somewhere oh oh, oh oh really really game i can't get up there really and truly for realsies oh man i probably wouldn't quickly go the other way to be honest oh well well <laughs> It's got a far little travel here. Man, I love Windfall so much. I love the side quest. I love hide and go see mini games like this. Alright, you. Okay, bye. <laughs> so you need to give me rupees, but apparently not. Remember, this kid gave me a lot of trouble to find as well. I think I was only able to find one as a kid. Ah, actually, maybe two. I, I remember having a hard time finding this kid and finding the leader because he was on a freaking tree, man. 
Not easy to find somewhere in a freaking tree, man. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, got him. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, changed his tune. Wow, you're pretty good, bud. But I'm wanting to catch all four of us at this rate. What do you mean? I've got three of you so far, and I've only been playing for like a minute. Oh, that's not true. I've been playing for a little while already. I never did talk to the leader again, did I? Let's see what his other thing to say was. Is he down here somewhere? Oh, he's right here. No way! This way, asshole. I'm too good at this game. He's in such disbelief. How, how awesome I am. Alright. Go ahead and leave. Oh, the one's flying the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, it totally is. That's okay. The last one is actually behind the bomb shop. <laughs> Spoilers. Um. Leaf, I'm counting on you! Hey, it totally worked. My opinion, this guy should have been hidden on the top of the bomb shop. That would have been cooler. So it would have been more sneaky snooku. Sneaky snooku. Yeah, there, you see a beam of light on the water there. Ooh, nice 15 rupees. We actually might need those. Ah, there we go. Aw, oh, lame. And we'll never know where his other line of dialogue was. Ah, I can't believe you. I can't believe it. You found all four of us. And he caught us all too. Talk about utter defeat. This could be lost or touch, killer bees. I guess maybe it's time we chilled out. From now on, we won't cause any more trouble for anyone. And award you for hide and seek skills? Here, take this, bud. Oh, you guys aren't so bad. You got a piece of heart. You collect a total of two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. Uh, as our favorite position, we've totally proven you're worthy. To our bud, the hide and seek master. Oh, one more thing. We need you to apologize to Mrs. Marie for us, alright? We're counting on you, bud. Did I say anything else? Haha, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> no, they're not dick bags anymore. You ain't bad. Oh, I don't want to talk to you again. I want to talk to the this dude, the pig nose guy. You know what, like, bud? You're the greatest. Looks like you would have nasal problems. Yeah, you're the coolest, bud. Well, you guys just say generic things, don't you? I actually like the killer bees. They're pretty cool. They have, I don't know, just something about them. I guess they're supposed to be like the bomber kids from uh, Majora's Mask, or you know, be reminiscent of them. What can I do for you on this fine day? You did it, didn't you? You said some of those delinquents for me, didn't you, dear? You can't fool me, I watched it all from the shadow of my door. That line right there always kind of worried me as a kid, so I'm like, was she really watching? Could I have seen that? That's kind of creepy. <laughs> you you really are a dear. You fill me with joy. I have to reward you. So here's a little spare change. Spare change. You got a purple rupee. That's worth 50 rupees. That's just great. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. See anything else? What can I do for you on this fine day? When it comes to children, my eyes never deceive me. Someday, dear, you will grow up to be a fine young man. Your name will go down in history. That's what I think, dear. Okay. Alrighty then. Bomber kid or bomber kids. <laughs> Killer bees, do you have anything to say? Oh, we're just cutscene. Hey, sounds like you apologized to teach for us. Good old Mrs. Marie. When speaking of Bud, did you know it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon? Look at this cool guy's pose. Actually makes me kind of angry to look at. Stop trying to act all cool. Boss! Oh, boss! You think maybe we should get her a present or something? Don't be stupid. We're the killer bees. We ain't no teacher's pets. Yeah, but Teach loves jewelry and junk more than anything in the world. What's she into these days? What'd you call them? Joy pendants? Really? Where do you find them? Are they just lying around? If we could just find some, we could give them to Teach as a present and she'd be all happy. Hey, now that I think about it, when I was climbing trees the other day, I saw a sparkly light on top of some tree in town. What was that? Maybe that's one of them pendants. What do you think, boss? Nah, that'd be crazy talk. Ah. He saw something shiny in a tree he was climbing the other day. Oh, well, we saw him climb this tree. What? What? Really? What? I could have sworn it was this tree. I thought that was the whole point of why he was up there. Was to see the fact that it was a What? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, it's this one? I guess I couldn't make it that obvious. You got a joy pen. I like how it makes this like epic thing. Yo, bud, looks like you find yourself a joy pen. pen. Solid work. What the heck? They're over here now? Actually, I gotta admit, we hit that thing up in that tree. We thought you might find it. Listen up, it's gonna be Mrs. Marie's birthday soon. We were thinking of giving her a present. So it would be good if we finally got our hands on that thing. But we can't be going around giving presents to people. No way, that just doesn't, don't fit the killer bee style. 
Come on, bud. Can you uh, give it to Teach for us? Can you? It's not like we we could ask just anybody for to do it for us. Neither. It's got to be someone reliable who can keep a secret. You're the only one we could ask, bud. <laughs> really? <laughs> you guys have lived in this town all your lives, and I'm the most trustworthy one you guys know. Really? I guess they do got to keep up a reputation, but still, come on. Can I break those pots through the wall? Oh, I did break one through. That's funny. Oh, cool. I do. Ah, it's funny. I still can collect rupees through walls. That's funny. I don't think I could in this game anymore. You used to be able to. Oh, man. We're already at 15 minutes. That, did, that took way longer than I figured it would. Good morning. I just feel like we have one letter. Here's your letter. Parcel has been sent on cash on delivery. Well, since you is 10 rupees, will you pay? Eh, why not? Yo, how you been, man? I gotta tell you, you really helped me out back there at the mail center. I appreciate it. I've been trying real hard ever since then, but my postman skills are still weak. I just can't seem to hit 22 letters. I don't ever be as good as you, man. So anyway, I've been hearing all kinds of crazy tales about you, so I figured I just had to write you a letter. It sounds like you've been doing some pretty amazing stuff, man. You're great. You're awesome. You're the man, man. You can probably tell I had no idea what to write, but hey, I figured at least I could... The least I could do is send you a letter of encouragement. So, yay, man, yay! Go, man, go! Go, go! Never give up! Never lose hope! And while I don't make much, I'm sending you my wages up lately. Just doing my part. Hope it helps. I'm really sorry I had to send this card. But I guess that's the price of fame. Take care. Thanks again, boss. From Beto. Oh, send this cash on delivery. I gotcha. Card is cash on delivery. Is a card? What is that? You got a red rupee at 20 rupees. What a pleasant surprise. Really? 20 rupees? Well, at least we made a 10 rupee profit from helping that guy. Seriously, man? Seriously? <laughs> oh, that's kind of adorable though. He sent me his wages. Alright, there's a depressed moon guy. Just loves the moon so much. Why don't you marry it then? <laughs> no. Okay, let's go up here. There's one more thing we could do that I thought I did already, but apparently not. Um... Maggie's dad. We know how he got rich, right? Because Maggie, like, uh, she got a whole bunch of joy pendants from Mo, and then this guy sold them, and that's how he made all his money. What do you need, little urchin? Well, you're about to change your freaking Facebook status to a maze because I'm gonna give you these things right meow. <gasps> eh? This is one of those skull necklaces that my daughter Maggie brought back from the Forsaken Fortress. These sell quite well at antique shops. In fact, it's thanks to them these beauties have become filthy rich overnight. Eh? And by the looks of it, I'd say you have about 20 of these, don't you? Well, I have way more than that. These ain't easy to come by either. Frankly, I'm amazed you found so many. <laughs> I've been bathing in money yet again. The money bath. The only bath that gets you filthy, filthy rich. Ha ha ha. All right, boy, I'll give you this as a tip. Now, I'm, think I'm not thanking you or anything. I'm just feeling good today. <gasps> we got tri- What? Oh, there's a piece of heart. You got your chart. <laughs> I was once quite poor myself, you know. Uh, back then, I used to dream of owning a boat. A boat I could use to go off and search of treasure. Now, look at my filthy richness. Chase your dreams, little urgent. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to say, no, I could become a sailor. But, oh, wait. He just wants to live in this mansion. Hmm. Funny how what riches can do to people. Aww, I wanted to jump up there. Uh, was there. I feel like there's one more thing I wanted to do in town. Oh yeah, there was one more thing. We're coming up on the 18, 19 minute mark. I don't think we're going to do this thing in a minute. So, in the next episode, we're going to talk to this guy. I think his name's Dompa. I don't know why I specifically remember that. Is that a beard? What is that? Well, I guess it is beard, but it's weird. It's like coming out of his mouth. It's like he has a silver blade tongue. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. My name is Chris. Is that the God's Tower? Is that what that is? It is! Jeez, we can see that from far away. Holy crap! We can't even see the island between. Maybe we can. Maybe not? Is it that? It's probably that over there. That fairy island, if you guys can see that. I think that's a fairy island, anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching! Yeah, the next one, we will finish things up here on um, the islands. Then we'll, we're will we going to go probably buy ourselves another bottle. And probably start working our way towards the next temple. So, talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.